Hey, let me put on my glasses so you won't uh, recognize me. Because you know, I'm dressed in the hospital. Now, I used to work, I was in the Air Force, I used to work, actually, after I got out there, I first to work in the, I was a lab technician. So I know scrubs. And when I come down to Virginia, I always take my sister's scrubs, some of her, she has a lot of them. And I, I wear them because, no, but when I'm in Virginia, I'm not trying to impress anybody, and it's a military town. It's, anyway, it doesn't matter. So I wear scrubs a lot, and plus with the new baby letter. Now I'm here. I'm here in St. In, 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 in St. Louis, and there's no reason for me to wear scrubs. I don't wear it, but I, this is my going to bed outfit, including my, the wife. Though. My wife made this cap, my nightcap, and I wear it like that. Plus, there's this little joke that I do, right? Sometimes people bought, and nah, this is not really true, because I'm weird out all the time, but you know, I said, no, I'm a psych patient. I just went from a psych ward, and whatever, so you know, this is what I'm used to. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Hey, it's morning time. I didn't just wake up, I put up a long time. They got a, a doggy head. Even in Virginia, I have a, I walk a dog in the morning. So it's a dog, nice dog, bulldog, good size. Um, and it's actually, you know, from shelter kind of thing. I don't want another black. This is a pure black cherry juice. It really is pure black cherry. Nice. Um, I put it over here. Now I put it over here. Uh, 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 and and the dog, you know, it came to the door to my you know, room door. You know, look at me expectantly, so I let it out. Did the little thing, you know. So I went up there and did my prayer and meditation. It was just it's very nice here, up and thing, and sun, blah blah blah, all that stuff. Okay. That's not what I want to talk about this morning. Look, I want to avoid this because it's probably the everybody knows this whole battle, not battle, but you know, Popeye's chicken. I never had Popeye's chicken. I don't even think, maybe I tried it one time just for the biscuits. I don't know what it is. Chick-fil-A, I don't do Chick-fil-A, any of that stuff like that. You know, in South Africa, you know, we, hey, look, we have our own chickens. We kill them, you know, feather, you know, put the thing, put the feather, blah, 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 whatever. We do our own chickens so we know what to eat. So I'm not really into this, and I've never been to Kentucky, all them people, I'm not really into this stuff. Um, but there's this whole thing with them, it's just, I, you all know what the deal is, right? But it, well, I was aware of it because when I left, I left from, you know, when I'm in Harlem, I'm on 124th Street in Madison Avenue, so when I was leaving to come here to St. Louis to catch the train, the train was leaving at 6, 10 in the morning, so I wanted to be there, like, left at 4, you know what I mean? I've always wanted to be there way ahead of time. So four o'clock in the store, you know, everything's closed. So um, I, I was gonna, not walk, but I was gonna take the train and do this, this train thing. But I said, oh, let me go to this bank first, because I didn't have any money. So I took a little, little money out. And when I came out the bus, crossed the 125th Street bus, 125th Street bus, it was crossing, you know, I said, like, ooh, let me catch this bus, right? Uh, because the bank is, the Chase Bank is on uh, 125th Street and, uh, you know, Park Avenue with a train under the, under the, um, what do you call that, uh, the New Haven, whatever that line is, right? So. I, you know, got, got got the bus, took me across to to, to catch the A, the A train, which is the one that goes down, you know, the independent, whatever, the one that goes down to um, uh, to uh, to Penn Station, to AC, whatever it's coming, right? So that, now as you go 125th Street that hour in the morning, like there's nothing is open, 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 right? So I get off uh, right beyond the Apollo Theater, you know, because the, anyway, I get off the bus and I'm walking to the corner to go to the 8th Avenue, you know, to a train and there's a Popeyes on the corner. It's open and there's a lot of people out there. I'm wondering like, oh okay, I don't make penny attention to it. I go into the thing because I haven't, I don't that right. So as it as it was, then I, I you know as I'm waiting for them, I'm, as I'm down at Penn Station waiting for them, I start looking at, you know and see like Antonio Moore has done something on Popeyes, Popeyes something like that. And then, you know, when I got here, like on that Monday, that, that Monday night, Yvette's doing something on Popeye's chicken. I'm going, what's going on? But I didn't pay any attention. No, Yvette, I listened to Antonio, I haven't checked it out yet. Because it's not, I, I don't care, you know? So here, so it seems like there's something happened. I even hear that somehow, I, I listen to Zoe Williams now. Because I just like them barbershop talk, you know, between Zoe and, um, and, and, and my man Corey Holcomb, I like that kind of thing, you know. Uh, I'm, I still, Black Fury, wherever you are, man, come back on, oh, man. I love Black Fury. Okay, man, we'll leave that alone. Um, and so, I'm thinking, first thing I'm thinking, like, wait, Antonio did something on it, Yvette did something. Look, y'all, 
y'all need to just stop it, right? Something like this when you're doing the popular thing. No, I know I know people have different perspective, but if that just let it. Talk. I don't know how y'all do it, but we don't need both of y'all doing this, okay? Just one, if it's a popular thing, whether it's Jay-Z, whoever, just one person do it. Let's just throw that other time. We got more important things to do. This is supposed to be politics, whatever. Okay, I'm, I'm not railing against them. I'm just, it's not even a criticism. I'm just hoping that right? we don't spend time with all this popular stuff, right? I'm going to uh, um, um, strategy and text. Oh, anyway, let's maybe switch to my, my topic here. So I'm thinking like, hey, look at this. I'm like a, a patient that just, you know, a psych patient that just got out. Plus, I'm wearing my, my wife's thing, so I'm all dressed for the psych ward or whatever. So, of course, when I go out, my change. But I'm thinking, like, wow, isn't this just like black people? I mean, we all should be, you know, forget our fashion, just leave the fashion over there. We all should have wristbands to, to identify ourselves as, as whatever, because that's what it is. By the way, I got the scissor here because, or well, the reason I got this because I, had, I went to the VA. I had to get my, my blood pressure medicine because I only had enough for nine days. I'm gonna be here for like two, like three weeks, you know. And and I had to leave New York in time. I didn't get the medicine there, so I got here. But they had to go through a whole thing. They had to re. It's, it's a VA system. It's all over the United States, so they should be able to just take my records and just switch it over here. But there's something happened with their computers. Anyway, so some very nice people in their eligibility, whatever they call it, department uh, here in St. Louis really good this um the sister you know we, we, um she was actually she was born at Martha hospital i was born at the bronx but she was she, she said she was born at the septic she was born at gypsy cab you know what i mean she's a doesn't matter so she said we both were born at the same hospital in the bronx so we had we bonded like that the reason why we knew this is because my social security number starts with a one so what it is if you start with a with with a one that means that you were born in the bronx there's these codes, like the, in your social security, there's these codes. Very interesting, right? Zero, I forget what zero is. I don't, I think zero may be, I don't know what zero is. One is whatever. Okay. Maybe there is no zero. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, so, so, but the, she, there was a problem with the computer, whatever. And she was new. She was, you know, new, fairly new. Older woman, you know. Anyway, so the supervisor came in and he was, he was also, he was in the Air Force for like, you know, from like 20 years, retired from the Air Force, but he was at one Air Force base, you know, like that. So he was really, he never, during the time, you know, just between the, well, the first Iraq war and between, anyway, he was in from 80s to, to 2000s. I get you all that, because this is the calmest dude I, he was like, I call him the Zen master. He was just calm patient and she was she told me like said, I'm so lucky man this guy is so good blah 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 the most black black people you know hey DOS you know what I'm saying um anyway so I got the medicine whatever everything came over on time blah 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 and I but I like these bands when I was in the Air Force I had a band a hospital I had a hospital band we weren't this big hospital band made up because they type it in and put this thing in I'm not gonna say but yeah I was gonna say it said it said um, Tony Sloan Mother effer, right? And that's what the band said. So you have to sort of read it, say that. And I wore that for a long time, right? I'll tell you a little story of uh, a um, a professor, a a a, a teacher at, at my Livings, at Livingston College, when I was going no regular school, Mason Gross. He called himself. This was years later. He said because of my demeanor and stuff that I was doing. He said, you know, you're a mother effer, right? and what he didn't know is that I know this. <laughs> Before, long before, long before, you know, our man said he's a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Before that, before, you know, Samuel L. Jackson popularized the word. That's my word. So now, so now what I'm trying to say with this, with this, I don't know, man, you know, because I'm crazy. Like, like, like black people are crazy. Why? What is this? What is this? Pop, you know, it's like we all, like I said, we all should be in the psych ward. This is unbelievable. We are so easily manipulated. It's, I can't. <laughs> we are so easily manipulated. You know, they get us to wear stuff, trinkets. They get us to, you know, look ridiculous. They get us to get into the ridiculous meme that starts as a meme thing that becomes, you know, making millions of dollars on some 
some chain, a couple of chains, a few, and we're right in the middle of this. It's unbelievable. We like to entertain ourselves, but if we don't entertain ourselves for our own profit. That's what I'm trying to say. And everybody gets wrapped up in it. Even me doing this thing, this is crazy, because I wasn't going to deal with this stuff. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I got a long day ahead. At least, at least I can get some rest. I got to go in some real clothes and I got to go see um, Eugene Bevan. I'm, 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 you'll, you'll find out later because I'll post something tomorrow. Anyway, that's it for me. T from the Patterson's taking the chances to bet. Letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the Reality Clan, a DOS, American Descent, uh, American DOS, North American Descendants of Chattel Slavery. That's what we are. Thank <laughs> you.